you are welcome to my channel thanks for visiting thanks for subscribing to my channel and sharing my presentations if you haven't subscribed please kindly do right now today i'll be talking about two medications in one that is out of our and proguanil mostly under the brand name malaron it could come under different brand names like malaron malaron pediatric malaron junior atonin rubador promozio oristo and so on it belongs to the class of anti-malaria agent it can appear in forms of malarone adult tablet, in that case it will be out of a 250 mg and progranine adochloride 100 mg. Or malarone pediatric tablet out of a 62.5 mg and progranine adochloride 25 mg. Generic adult type will have the same dosage like malarone adult type. Mechanism of action. Remember, we are dealing with two medications in one tablet. So, atovacone will selectively inhibit parasite mitochondrial electron transport. The proguanin component will have a metabolite known as cycloguanil. That will inhibit dihydrofolate reductase. And what would that do? That would destroy the ozitamine delayed synthesis. When we combine the two drugs, they will both target the so erythrocytic that is hepatic stage and erythrocytic stages it is the erythrocytic stages that will give the symptoms of malaria okay fat will increase its absorption uses of these two medications in one for prophylaxis against malaria for treatment of malaria but remember for treatment of only uncomplicated malaria and you will ask me, what about complicated malaria or severe malaria? Oh, then you will only use it as the oral agent after you must have used intravenous anti malaria agent. Dosing. For prophylaxis against malaria, if you are traveling from Western world with less malaria to endemic zone, like in Africa, Sub Saharan Africa, or Southeast Asia, then you take one tablet containing 250 milligrams out of our corn and proguanine 100 milligram once daily. You will start this once daily dosing two days before boarding your flight. You take one tablet daily while you are there in the endemic zone. You continue on your way back and until seven days after arrival. In pediatric age group, we will make use of the tablet with strength of atovacone 62.5 mg and proguanine adochloride 25 mg. In that case, if you want to give it prophylactically in pediatric age group, that is in children, you will have to have your weight balance. So, what is the weight? The child between 4 to 8 kilograms give half of this very strength, half of 62.5 milligram. And that will give you out of our cone 31.25 milligram. And half of the programming here will be 12.5 milligram. And you give that once daily. For a child that is 9 to 10 kg, you give three cores of 62.5 no, of the pediatric uh, strength. A child that is 11 to 20 kg give full tablet of 62.5 and the child that is 21 to 30 kg give two tablets of the pediatric strength and 31 to 40 give three tablets. Any child that is greater than 40 kg just give the adult dose. Now, in pediatric age group, if you want to use it for uncomplicated malaria you know, problems and you want to treat, you know, prophylaxis is different from treatment, right? Then 
you still use the pediatric strength containing adovacone 62.5 milligram and progranin and ochlorid 25 milligram but this time around unlike 4 to 8 kg where you're going to give half tablet you give two tablets once daily for three days 9 to 10 kg three tablets once daily for three days and you can pause and check the rest so at 40 kg or greater than 40 kg just give the adult dosage now treatment of malaria in adults it is expected that you are handling uncomplicated malaria and if that is the case you are free to take four tablets once daily for three days if we are dealing with plasmodium vivus or plasmodium ovale you have to add primaquin to prevent relapse i will go into details of this so why following me on series of presentation as per malaria please make sure you check this channel consistently because later on i will tell you why let me just give you a clue right now prima queen can handle hepatic sky zones and hepatic sky zones can remain there dormant as hypnozide for several months prima queen can clear that off administration give this medication with food or milk you can crush it you can mix it with mink before swallow if the patient has vomited within 30 minutes of ingestion of this tablet then we have to repeat the exact dose the reason why i didn't just say repeat the dose is you know the exact dose you have given the dose for adults is different from the those you are going to give a child that is about 8 kg. Now, adverse reactions. There may be headache, abdominal pain, increased liver enzymes, pruritus, diarrhea, muscle weakness, pancytopenia, particularly in the face of renal failure, hallucinations, psychosis, anaphylaxis with Stephen Johnson syndrome or erythema multiforme stomatitis, cholestasis, or seizures. The renal system. I've decided to bring out the renal system separately because if kidney clearance is less than 30 minutes per minute, we will not give this medication on prophylaxis again because the kidney is in trouble. But we can use it for treatment even with the troubled kidney if we don't find any other suitable medication around and we don't want the patient to die. But anyone on prophylaxis may take it for as long as he or she is in the endemic zone and that might be so many doses compared to the treatment that is just for a few days. Contraindications. This is when and where we cannot use this medication. For example, when there's hypersensitivity to atovacone or to progranil or to any component of its formulation, we will not use this medication. Also, we will not use this medication for prophylactic purposes or as prophylactic agent in anyone having kidney that is suffering with kidney clearance less than 30 mils per minute. We will not use this medication one there might be hepatitis and hepatic failure so be pretty careful in the face of hepatic impairment this is not useful in cerebral malaria because cerebral malaria is a complicated malaria it's a severe malaria i have a separate full presentation on cerebral malaria another full presentation on severe malaria so I'm not going into details right now. If upon return you develop plasmodium falciparum malaria, please look for another agent entirely. Don't use this medication you know, for prophylactic purposes if kidney clearance is less than 30 mils per minute. 
You can see that I've repeated this about four or five times right now. You should add another agent or you drive mal around completely if this patient is obese. For example, with all due respect to anyone that is obese, anyone greater than 100 kg should not take malaron. Anyone vomiting or having diarrhea may not have full amount of the medication reaching the circulatory system. So take that into consideration. Or else you assume you are helping, but then you are not getting any results. Drug drug interaction. Contact your pharmacist or your clinical pharmacologist because the list is pretty long and I may not be able to say precisely which medication you might be taking before now and you may be taking after. But dietary fat is known to enhance absorption of atovacom proganeal from gastrointestinal tract. Monitoring. Like we've gone through, there might be problem with the liver, so let's have liver function test right now. Bad kidney is not helpful. We will not even give it for ovulation purposes if kidney clearance is less than 30 mils per minute. So let's have renal function test done. Anyone greater than 100 kg is not expected to be taking malarone except you're going to double the dose or whatever, but discuss with your pharmacist. So let's know the weight. Vomiting, remember, you have to repeat the exact dose if the individual has vomited within 30 minutes of ingestion of this medication. The same with diarrhea. Complete blood count, malaria, parasitemia, because we want to know if you need to treat this patient more or not. Pregnancy. I would rather use other agents. You may use malarone if you don't find any other agents around that is suitable because you don't want that patient to die. And of course, you discuss with your other colleagues or pharmacist. With that, I've come to the end of this short presentation on malarone. In the Western world, pretty useful for travelers that are going to malaria endemic zones. And anyone that is designed with malaria, even in endemic zones, but is not complicated, can use malarone also, or the brand name that is available in your jurisdiction or country. Thanks for listening. Remember to share this. Remember to subscribe to my channel. You are free to leave comment, but there will be more presentations on malaria right here. Keep checking my channel. Thank you.